Hello everyone, Tamia the Hair. I pray all is well with you. In this video, I want to be sharing that I'll be doing a series with Bible journaling and mixed media art journaling using some gel press items. Um, gel press, um, which is a company that makes jelly plates and other things like that, but the focus is on like a gel press. And let me show you, um, not jelly plate. We have jelly plates. But gel press is so is similar. You know what? Matter of fact, I think if I show a comparison, it will be um better. Okay. So this is um a jelly plate, right? It's a mono printing plate. This is called gel printing, but it's for mono print. You make mono prints on this, and people do other things with it as well. This is similar. It's also a printing plate, but this company is gel press, and this is jelly arts. So this company here, Gel Press, have something called Faith Impressions. It looks like this. Right? Um, and they created um, a series, well, um, a kit, rather, with Carrie, with Carrie Sally. This is she. Right? And it's Bible journaling. Um, with Carrie Sally and it's created by gel press and it's called faith impressions faith impressions so the kit is um, like $34.99 and it comes like this right it comes in this big thing here I already unboxed it so and it has this um, reference, um, sheet, this is very large, I think it's like a 12 by 12, and it shows you ways to use it here, and then it's a, I guess this is a picture of her page, do all things to the glory of God, you see the mixed media art, the pain, and, um, some doodling going on here, and over here you see some letters and stuff like that, and, um, so it comes with this and it says, why Bible journaling? What is it? I don't really get it. And her writing a note to the purchasers of this. And um, it goes into cleaning and storing how to use and um, some scripture. It comes with, okay, so this is the sheet that's in there. It comes with that, which is a reference guide. I want to throw this out. And um, it comes with, a devotional pamphlet right for seven days right and in the beginning there's an introduction and in each um there's day one oh then it tells you the seven day gel press bible journal and jump start plan and it lists what each day is about it's seven it's seven days um in the scripture, in um, Genesis 1, 1, you were born to be creative. Joshua 1, 8, Bible journaling is a way to meditate on the word. Psalm 34, 4, letting go of fear. Galatians 6, 4, walking away from the com from the comparison game. Ephesians 2, 10, you are God's masterpiece. Psalm 135, 130 verse 5, hope is in the word. In Ephesians 1, 7, finding forgiveness for finding forgiveness all around. And then here are some ways that she's done her pages. So you can get some um, ideas. And of course, you know, paint is involved in this. And then it goes into um, the devotional. And then there's a blank page for a person to do, um, to practice on if they don't, not so much to practice, they could journal here. And um, I think in one video she did say, like, if a person wants to try it out here before they actually go into their journal and Bible. So, yeah. So, there's this. And um, a, mo one of the most, besides the scriptures, in addition to the scriptures, this is um, also um, what's included, which is very important because it's gel press, right? It comes with some gel presses. Not like it's this one is one I purchased a while ago. Separately, I've used it. I do use it. Put that back. But here are the ones that comes with the kit. 
really nice for the margin of the Bible. Look at that. This. I did a video where I used a jelly plate inside of um, my Bible. And, you know, it, was, it, it wasn't too difficult. But, you know, the way the page is and the gel press was, I think, bigger or smaller, whatever. Um, I have the video to that. I'll probably leave it in the description section of this video. But this is made for the margin of the Bible. Like, if you have, for example, because I don't use paint in the other Bible, the other German Bibles in this one. So, for example, um, we have this right here, right? Right here. So, I wrote here. Let me go to one where I've done some. Okay. So, like right here, right? This fits. Look. It fits. It fits. Right? Even if I don't put the paint all the way. But it's easier to use here. So, there's this one. Right? And then... Hold on. Okay, hold on. There's this one. Which has a scalloped side. And this one is more of the pointy side. Right? Here's a... So this is this is called a certain um style, but I I don't know what the name of it is. And then so that's one, two, and then it comes with these cute little ones. Look at this. I think you'll see it right here. My favorite shape, a heart. Then there's the star, and then there's like a cross. So that's really nice. It comes with six gel presses, right? And easy to use in a a journaling Bible or even on a piece of um I'll put that back later. A piece of um paper, cardstock, whatever you're gonna use, or even in this book here. So so I'm gonna be using the kit. Um I was thinking about doing everything in here and not in my journal and Bible, but um, I don't think that is what I'm going to be doing. I think I am going to be using my journal and Bible because I felt like, I was like, I want to do everything in like one place. Now, the only thing I would say is that I don't know if the places that, the, where the, script, the scriptures that she's using in here, that's in this devotional guide, I don't know if I've already done those pages in my art journal and Bible, the one that I use for that I want, the one that I use um, for doing like um, like mixed media art style Bible journal and like using paint and all different types of um, wet mediums. So um, that's why I know it's just going to be like when I go to do that particular devotional. You know, I will see at that point what I'm going to use. I'm not going to make a commitment just to say, oh, only in here and box myself in like that. Um, and then I also thought about maybe using some watercolor. So maybe if the page is taken out, um, I got some mixed media art paper too, but I think I'll stick with watercolor just in case I, case I want to use watercolor along with the gel presses. Um... Yeah, so if the page is um, already journaled on, I can do a tip-in using this um, watercolor paper. Or I could just go ahead and cut a piece of watercolor down the size and put it in here. So I have options. So that's, that's a good thing. So I don't have to lock myself in. I could just be um, flexible. And then there's this book where I want to take some notes. It says Explore. So... Um, if I decide to do some journaling, like, for example, if I decide to use the whole thing, I may want to, I may decide that I even want to cover this text up because, you know, I don't, if anybody, most, if anyone see my videos a lot, um, when it comes to like using different things, um, in my art journal and Bible, I've mentioned this several times. They may know, like, I don't, they may have heard me say, I don't like covering up the text in my art journal and Bibles. Like, I'll put paint over it, but as long as I can still read that portion, I'm good. I don't mind putting paint. I don't mind putting stuff over it as long as I can see it. I just don't like covering it up. 
So, but with this, this is a devotional guide. So I don't have a problem with covering this text up. And um, so I may decide I want to cover up, the, do this whole spread, but then I could still put my notes in here um, for the seven day devotional. Um, the seven day devotional um, pages. Um, it was something else. Oh yeah. Okay. Last but not least. So I have two of these books that I had gotten from um, Michaels and they're called Art Journaling. And these are not um, Bible journaling books. They are actually more geared towards like just art journaling in a general sense. And um, it's nothing crazy. Um, it talks about setting yourself free with fewer supplies, how to use dirty plate papers, different techniques. And I also have a Bible journaling technique book. For this series, I'll probably be referring to that book as well. Um, it's over there. I'm not going to get that. I've shown that before. You know, you know what? Let me, because somebody's watching it, may watch this, may be watching this that never saw that book before. So I don't want to say, I want to show it. So, oops. So this is the complete guide to Bible journal. And so I will be referring to this at times. And there's things in here that I could use because they give, they, uh, they, they gave a lot of items in here to use. Like, look at that. Letters, alphas, so many nice things. There's stickers. There's, you know, there's a lot of goodies in here. Rub ones, you know, um, there's doodles you can, um, illustrate Hold on. you see different things so this is an excellent um text to have if you want to delve even deeper into bible journaling and learn different techniques i also really really like this art journaling um book these books like what the authors share in terms of their journey in their process is just amazing and there's one specific one that I started reading um in the beginning and um they have like special features and in every issue something they have like techniques to try galleries and stuff like that um maybe I'll do a walkthrough of a book like this one day but um it's this section called, um, titled rather, Refreshing Creativity and Renewing Confidence by Carly Swenson. And oh, when I read it, it was so inspiring to read her story about um, art journaling. And um, I don't know if it's too much to share this right now. What should I do, Lord? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Okay, you know what? I'm going to make it a second video because then this video is going to be going to be extremely long. And so since this is a series, I'm just going to go with the flow of the Lord. I'm not going to say because it is a seven day devotional. Um, but I'm combining what I learn here and and with the devotional is like. I'm fusing like concepts. So hers is like with create this first one is about like creativity, refreshing creativity. And it just so happens that devotional one is about I am creative. So when I read it, it was like boom Lord. It's like, you know, some tips and advice that she gives here about, you know, making affirmation cards and stuff like that. It is in connection to the day one devotional, I am creative and seeing God in the whole process. So um, I'm going to be using um, the Bible journaling, creative techniques book, along with the art journaling, because this this actually helps with a lot of mixed media art, you know, and I do, I am a mixed media artist. If anything, like that is really like what I, I would say I am fairly good at and getting better at. I like mixed media art and I like abstract art. Um I really, really enjoy that. And um I'll probably do some drawing of some flowers and things that I've been learning for concrete more concrete art. And of course using the gel presses along with um journaling based on the devotionals and the devotional guide by Car by Carrie, Sally and um 
face impressions. And I want to show that one more time. One more time. I want to show that. Right here. So, um, if someone is interested in this, um, they'll find a link in um, the description section of this video. Um, you know, I don't know if they sell. You could probably find it cheaper somewhere else. But I'll try to leave a couple of links in the description section of this video so um you can go check it out if you um are interested in doing this yourself so that's the introduction video i want to say thanks for watching god bless you if you have any questions or comments you can leave them in the comment section of this video and again thanks for watching god bless you and always remember jesus loves you bye bye